Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, brothers and sisters. Let's talk about the word infidel. Um, it's often referred to by Christians or non-Muslims to uh, refer to the Muslims as we are referring to other people, um, such as the English translations in the Quran often use the word infidel. Um, in the hadiths often use the word infidel, um, such as, you know, uh, talking about disbelievers, when actually the word infidel is not an Arabic word, it is not in the Islamic teachings, it is not from Muslim teachings, the word infidel is actually an English word, and it came from the Christian crusaders to refer to non-Christians, so technically Muslims, Jews, anyone who's not a Christian is an infidel, so why the Quran and the Hadith in English translate the word kafir, kufr to infidel, I do not know because that's completely contradicting the meaning of the word and we do not use that word in Arabic. So what the word infidel is, like I said, is an English word referring to non-Christians and when they translate it from the Arabic in the Quran and Hadith, they're translating it usually from the word kafir, kufr, which that simply means disbelievers, non-believers, those who do not believe, um, those who hide, etc. It, it does not mean infidel. Um, so I do not understand why they translate it to infidel. Um, there are some English words where I do understand the translation, such as when Allah refers to himself as nanu, um, they translate it to we, and a lot of Christians and people ask, you know, if Muslims worship one God, and we don't believe in partners, etc., etc., why does Allah refer to himself as we, who is the we, who is the partners? That's the best word we could translate it to into English, because not new, it is a plural word, but it is a specific personal word referring to himself, in the plural form, meaning exalted, um, raised above higher status, um, not actual multiple things, just one, and that's something in the Arabic language that is hard for English speakers to interpret, and that is that we have singular, plural, we even have super plural words, and that means it's referring to oneself, but in the plural form, as of exalted in status, um, exalted in might, um, etc. So that's what that means. But translating back to we makes sense, because that's the closest you can get in an English translation. But translating kafir, kufr into infidels makes no sense, considering infidels is the opposite word, because it means non-Christians. So... I don't understand that. So the correct translation of infidels when translating from Arabic to English and Quran or Hadith would be disbeliever, non-believer if it is the word kafir, not infidel. We don't use that word as Muslims. If you're a Muslim, do not use the word infidel because that is not uh, that's not an Arabic word, it is not a Muslim term, it is not anywhere in the Islamic faith. That is from the Christians, from the English Christians, from the Crusaders. Um, that's what they use to describe us. We Muslims are the infidels. And um, everyone else is the kafir. It's not a bad thing. It just means you do not believe in the Islamic faith. You're a disbeliever, you're a non-believer, um, etc. So um, I hope this clears it up for some people who don't really understand the language barriers. There's a lot to go into and a lot more to it, but this is... Pretty much a simplified form. Anyway, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.